with the years I've been more and more interested in making shows which are special, which are site specific, so that I can, um, how to say, like, liberate certain certain um, energy in the space. I mean, energy like which comes with the work, huh? not to sound like a kind of a weird, um, yeah. In, in this case, you work with drums. Well, I, the whole show, which is called "Purchase Not by Moonlight," um, it's it's like a choreography in the time and in the in the space of the exhibition because there is a, a different works which are um, which are synchronized with each other. So when certain works go on, some others go off, um, and this is done in such a way that people can move from one work to the other when one goes off and the other one goes on, and people can. And they are not all the time present in the place where the work is going, but sometimes they are here and something is starting there. So you have a here and there situation, which often or most of the time you don't have with video shows or, or shows which are based in, in medium that works with duration, because normally they happen to be in separated rooms due to the due to having to deal with the sound problem and sound isolation. But I'm also interested in directing the, 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 the audience or the, the people, uh, the visitors, in, in such a way so that certain other connections are done between works which wouldn't happen if when the works are there on their own or when they are in a, in a, in a group show and I have absolutely no control of the context or the narrative of that other show. So in that case for me it's like, it's it's like bringing forward the works in such a way that they connect to each other and they 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 make a new work out of it